Hi, welcome to the Cooler Master booth at CBIT 2012. I'm joined by Jens, who is the product manager for cooling. Jens, Cooler Master used to do liquid coolers maybe five, six years ago. It's been quite some time, but you haven't done it for a while. That's about to change starting today at this show. Why have you decided to do liquid coolers again? Okay, um, from history wise, yeah, you're right. We do uh, water cooling already very often and try to be to come successful in the market. But um, the result was not really, really successful for us because uh, we use or we try to, to use our own way and we find out the way is not the right way for Europe. So we come, come out of an idea to make our own water cooling but with cooperation with a German, German engineering team in, 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 in Germany to create water cooling system. And now it's coming more, more better when we make the production in Europe, so on demand for our customers. Okay, that's an interesting uh, differentiation there because your previous coolers, I think, were made in Taiwan. Correct. Whereas this liquid cooler here is made in Germany. Correct. Okay, so we've got one new model here. Tell us what this is and tell us what's exciting about okay, it. Okay, this this um, project here is Iceberg. Um, we we have three different versions. This what you see here is now the 120 millimeter version. So I have a 120 millimeter radiator and um, the the pump unit. The pump unit have the pump. The, the refill and um, the copper plate. The copper plate is um, they use it, the micro channel technology and the jet plate. The jet plate is like a turbo boost for the water, so the water goes very fast inside the, the water block and come also very fast out, so the, the heat get transferred very fast. Okay, this is the 120. It's uh, obviously a very thick radiator. Is that 50 mil thick? This is a um, 40, 45 millimeter. 45 millimeter thick, and you're also going to do a 240 mil radiator. Yes. And is that the same thickness? The same thickness, but um, this version, this version is an overclocking version, so will be not released at first. At first, we will release a 30 millimeter version. Sure, you can do also overclocking with it, but the potential is not so big as with a 45 millimeter. Okay, compared to the all-in-one solutions that are already on the market, Cooler Master is doing something a little bit different by using standard barbs. So you're opening this up for people who want to just take the pump and integrate it into an existing loop and do whatever they want with it. That's totally correct. Yeah, we, we want to do this way. We want to, to make a water cooling system what is um, universal, what you can use in the existing water system, what you have already at home, or you, you, you want to be able that maybe in the future you update your system, maybe water, uh, what, uh, water cooler for the graphic card, or maybe for the hard disk. Um, this is possible with the system. Um, competitors, they have mostly fixed loops, like you cannot change something, and you cannot refill the water, or take it out of water and um, that's make a lot of pro uh, problems so we already heard from um, customers it's the, the existing system on the market go very fast damage and um, make the people really unhappy and uh, according on this we try to put everything inside what the customer likes what the customer wants that's why we make during the seabed already a lot of agreements with many water cooling experts in Europe that they can testing the, the, the pre-version give us some feedback, we take this feedback, give this to our engineers in Germany, put this inside the, the uh, coming up product. So that's the coming up product will really a product from European for European. Okay, so flexibility is an important thing. You're going to have the two different sizes available at launch. When is it going to launch and how much is it going to cost? Okay, um, we, we're thinking we want to launch this item end of April. But I need to tell you, you know, because of these fee feedback issues, it can be when we have some serious things, what we need to put inside, that's maybe delay a little bit. But currently we're thinking we will release at end of April, beginning of May. Um, the cost, the 120 millimeter version will cost 129 euro. Okay. And the, the bigger version, the double radiator version will cost around 139, maybe 140. Okay, so these are really high-end solutions. Yes, really high-end solutions. The performance-wise, we will be around 10 degree better, 10 to 12 degree better than the competition. Okay, interesting. We'll hold you to that. We'll test these and see if that's true. Okay, Jens, thank you very much for that first look. So those are Cooler Master's new liquid coolers.